Hello and welcome to my review of Argel Tal, the Crimson Lord, Commander of the Serrated Sun for the Wordbearers Legion for Horus Heresy from Forge World. And he will cost you £47. That's a lot of money. I was not expecting this at all. Uh, I was expecting him to be um, most likely falling in line um, with uh, some of the other characters uh, of this size that have, you know, better, beefier um, sort of bases, such as Sigismund, who is £47. And yes, he's only sort of, um, you know, Space Marine size. He does have a, a whopping detailed base, and that's the same for, um, well, even uh, Dynat as well, you know, and um, Alexis uh, Pollux, as well as um, Khan. Uh, I know that a couple of those models are uh, a bit older now, uh, but still, it did surprise me Forge World setting the price at um, £47 for him, and I was kind of uh, expecting him to be 38 considering he hasn't really got a, a, a scenic base. I mean, yes, one can argue that he does have, uh, you know, an Ultramarines um, <laughs> Space Marine, uh, you know, as part of the, the model, but still, yeah. In terms of the size of the wings, uh, I wouldn't really necessarily class them as kind of functional, more of an intimidation factor. Maybe he can beat them to move quicker when he's, uh, he's stomping around, when he's moving around, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can use him as a as a demon prince. He's not quite uh, uh, as big as one and doesn't have that kind of presence. You're only getting eight pieces for the mini as well. I think I built him in one of the live streams. Uh, so uh, if you just uh, look at the live stream playlist, it's probably uh, going to be there. Uh, the rules for him, Forge World, have thankfully put the rules on their web store. Um, under downloads on his page uh, where you can buy him and I'll be going through those in a, in a little while uh, but firstly let's have a look at all of these details and see uh, what all the fuss is about so as I say he's eight pieces um, goes together you know relatively well you you might have some uh, issues with the wings and they don't go even though they're a plug and socket some of the mutations and things they don't match up um, sort of at the back and at the front at the same. So for instance, if I was to, when I was building him, if I was to move the um, wing connections to, to match, to join, then there would be a bigger gap at the front. And that's the same there. And, and that's kind of what happened there because I did want them to match up a bit cleaner on the back. So you, you probably will have to use some liquid green stuff. So bear that in mind. Everything else went together very well. The head, the arm, um, uh, this arm with the uh, with the ultramarine arm, uh, the legs and the torso are all one piece. Um, and then you've got this, uh, I say scenic base, it's just the other half of the uh, ultramarine. I love how um, you've got loads of like intestines and things coming out of him, spilling everywhere. There's gonna be a lot of blood and gore that I'm gonna be um, painting on this. Um, it's obviously going to be very difficult to get in there now, but uh, but still. Uh, and again, it's up to you if you want to, um, you know, leave off this left wing. I would leave off the left wing uh, so that you can actually paint it, paint it all in there. Um, I'm now contemplating breaking off the wing and painting it separately. Um, but the right wing, at least, you can, um, you know, get to and, and uh, paint some detail. But yeah, speaking of the detail, the wings are lovely. Um, they're not ripped or damaged, uh, but they are nice and veiny. Um, and you've got the fingers there, the bony fingers on, on the wings. Um, there's plenty of detail and bone and ridges and growths all sprouting up um, from uh, the back and the sides of the um, Vargal Tal. Uh, you've also got bones and growths uh, on the legs and cracks in the armor and the serrated sun symbol, this nice long bone and um, bones that uh, sort of wrap around the back of his head and um, that need to be sort of that need to be um uh the flash needs to be taken out of you know in between them um so that you've got a gap because uh yeah that's an important thing note to make and um, that i would cut uh that you know the gaps between the um uh, bones there because otherwise it's just going to be joined the the bones wrapping around the back of the head sort of reminded me of the asari race uh, from mass effect if you uh, 
uh, have ever played Mass Effect before, um, where they kind of wrap around, but the, there's gaps uh, sort of underneath them. So yeah, fantastic looking Mini. Uh, I'm a big fan, I'm just not a massive fan of the price. I think he should have been the £38 and he would have been a steal at that. Nonetheless though, he did sell out pretty quickly on the day. Um, so I'm lucky that I've uh, got one. I think Forgewood have recently made some more of these. So yeah, anyway, um, you're probably here for the uh, size comparisons of which I will show, show you right now. And we've got a few um, word bearers minis to to go through uh, i think you're all wanting to see uh, how he stacks up next to his galvorback brethren and i so have a a galvorback here galvorback are the same size as those blade slaves that come with zardu layak and um, so here he is next to uh the blade slave so he does uh, tower above them and um, by by quite a margin uh, i think he'd be a great um sort of uh, leader um, or even if you wanted to use him as one of the uh, Gal Vorback, they're all on the same size base as well. And um, yeah, just if you wanted an, an additional um, uh, unit there, uh, or just swap one of the, I say, lesser looking ones. So yeah, that's uh, where he measures up. He is taller. Um, next to, I don't know, like a word bearer's uh, Praetor uh, with this, the, the Bone Hawk, he, he towers above one of those. But if you wanted to use them both in the same sort of, uh, list um, and the Bone Hawk uh, Space Praetor comes up to about chest level, I'd say almost. Um, but yeah, does dwarf like your normal Space Marines? Um, I think I've got one here in Iron Armor. Um, so yeah, he's he's going to be a a target, I guess. Um, you're going to be able to spot him quite easily on the battlefield. Next to the Word Bearers. Uh, uh, Terminator Praetor, he's going to be a fair bit bigger than one of those. And we've also got um, the specific word bearers, Dreadnought. So that's where he measures up uh, next to, to that. Um, and then uh, we've got Lorgar himself. Now, this is an interesting one because if you kind of take that base off, he's almost as big as um, Lorgar. I mean, yeah, let's face it, Lorgar is a, you know, one of the oldest uh, Primarchs. Um, but yeah, compared to the the Primarch, he's I'd say almost the same size, minus that scenic base. So that gives you an idea. I mean, you know, Lorgar doesn't have his his big base here at the moment, um, but uh, that gives you some idea of. Um, you know, the size of Argyle Tal. The last three size comparisons I always like to make, um, which I didn't do for the Imperial Fist Prey Tours, but I'll do, it, do them here, um, is with a Primaris uh, Space Marine, so from, you know, 41st Millennium, uh, with a normal Space Marine and uh, with Slime Marbo. Yes, Argyle Tal towers above uh, all three, um, but yeah, compared to a Primaris, much, much taller, thanks to all the Chaos uh, mutations and things. So, and yeah, here's one of the, and yeah, here's one of the, uh, firstborn. So I hope those size comparisons have helped. Okay, this is my part of the review where I will go through all of his rules and he does have some uh, juicy rules on um, Forge World's own web store. He will cost you 185 points. He may be chosen as an HQ choice in a word bearer Space Marine Legion army and the unit may only be taken as part of a traitor faction army. His Stat line reads, weapon skill 6, ballistic skill, strength and toughness are all 5. He's got 4 wounds, initiative 5, 5 attacks, leadership 10 and a save of 2 plus. The unit type, he's a jump infantry character. So he can move around as if he's got a jump pack. War gear, he's got artificer armor, demonic claws, frag and crack grenades. We'll talk about the demonic claws in a moment. Special rules, he has master of the legion, very important that. Independent character, demon, very bulky, rage, stubborn, damned, warlord. If Argyl Tal is your army's warlord, he has the master of the Vakra Jal warlord trait rather than rolling randomly. Note that although Argyl Tal does not have the Legionis Astartes word bearer special rule, an army that has him as its warlord may still select word bearer's legion specifics rights of war. There you go. So what's this warlord master of the Vakra Jal? Well, an army whose warlord has this trait may select Gal Vorbach Dark Brethren units as troop choices. In addition, while a warlord with this trait is part of a unit composed entirely of models with the demon special rule, the warlord and all models in the unit it has joined 
gain the feel no pain special rule. That's fantastic. I only wish Games Workshop made uh, 20 Galvor back in plastic. <laughs> The damned special rule, a unit with this special rule never counts as a scoring unit, regardless of the provisions of the mission being played. So, you know, if you're playing for scoring, um, then yeah, unfortunately you're not gonna be able to use that. Demonic claws. They don't have a range, but they plus the but they add plus one to the strength, so that's strength six. They are armor penetration three, melee, rending, shred, two-handed. That's fantastic that they're rending and shred as well. Um, so you're going to get your uh, five attacks there at AP3. So, um, so Argyltal will be ripping through um, Space Marine equivalents at the strength six AP3, uh, which means they won't get a save. They'll just be um, ripped apart. It's sort of a shame it's not AP2, uh, you know, so we could rip apart Terminators and, dare I say it, Custodes. Sorry for you Custodes lovers out there, um, Henry Cavill. But AP3 is still quite nice and um, still going to do a fair amount of damage uh, ripping through normal Space Marines. And that's pretty much it for my uh, review of Argyle Tal. Uh, what do you guys think of the model and the rules? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.